Hello, good morning. This is Dr. Subhiyal with yet another video about business entrepreneurship and what success actually means as a business owner. So these things float around a lot. For example, an entrepreneur should work on the business, not in the business and so on and so forth. So let's clear out the clutter and really understand what success actually is as an entrepreneur. entrepreneurial journey I have realized that the success in business depends on two things number one the art of authority delegation and the second thing is are you building an asset can you sell it later on when you don't delegate authority in a business the problem is that you are you you have very less time than to develop the new business connections right b2b connections you also have very less time to uh, to further enhance your business processes get feedback from the people that you have in charge at different levels in your organization as i said that that the art of authority delegation or authority delegation usually happens gradually when you work on the business you are your mental energy your emotional energy then gets directed to optimization of business processes so getting so then working inside the business and putting your time in actual value creation then the time gets more uh, your time investment gets shifted more towards producing better value increasing the spectrum of value proposition and also then looking for the best talent that will give you way more higher return on investment uh the salary which you pay them and also uh their personal development and so on bonuses everything how uh, how, how do you are you going to leverage that so you won't be uh, able to leverage time and also your money if you will just uh, work in your business because you will be busy you will be very happy with that good for you uh good for your fulfillment and good for your ego but not so much uh for your bank account and the long-term impact which you are going to make so when you delegate the authority in a, in a business and as you raise the level of authority delegation for example you start off with a bakery or a small shop uh you gradually with time as you uh, as you enhance your business as you uh, your the profitability increases you can hire a store manager uh, you can hire some bakers who are the best at what they do and the what you can do is to look for investors look for uh, other options how you are gonna open another shop then uh, uh, leveraging the skills of the person that already works with you as a as a baker to actually how, how can he train other bakers and how you can slowly increase your business so that mental energy that strategic foresight and that whole uh, uh, thought process it it doesn't it is not nurtured with time you are not able to think about these things just because you are too busy working in your business and you have not mastered the art of authority delegation so if you are just happy working as a baker have working as a consultant uh, serving your clients it gives you fulfillment it gives you happiness and uh, yeah so just be happy with the fulfillment then don't complain that okay uh, uh you you work all the time hard work is good okay hard work is good good uh, just stay with your own uh, uh psychological or emotional bubble or or thought process or a thinking pattern which is induced in your brain uh, to yeah something like something along those lines 
uh, but it is not going to scale your business uh, or you won't be able to scale your business. You will be stuck with 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 consultation you will be stuck with uh with working within uh, within your business you are not gonna get out of that capsule and it makes a lot of sense because at the most as i mentioned before you can you can take care of one instance uh of of your value proposition uh machine that is one business one bakery in a certain place uh of course with internet you can impact millions of people around the world but but you got the point so uh the whole thing is that you have to constantly look for ways in which you optimize your business along certain key dimensions and this is exactly what i have mentioned in uh, my udemy course which is about dimensional business strategy how to optimize your business along the eight key dimensions and in this course all what i'm talking about is is the thought process which an entrepreneur must go through so that he can transform his business into a value centric cash flow machine so that you can just keep on increasing your revenue working on the business optimizing your business along certain dimensions instead of just uh, getting glued to your own ego your own fulfillment okay you can get a lot of fulfillment even from growing your business right so it is it just depends on your focus your mentality your thought patterns and your psychology uh, have you raised or are you gradually raising the level of authority delegation or not so as you go along as you proceed in your entrepreneurial journey if you are still working from 9 a.m. in the morning till 2 a.m. in the night have you really achieved entrepreneurial success do you really have the, uh, the business acumen i don't think so because you have not mastered the art of authority delegation and that is very important to understand because for example if you are not delegating the authority if you are not putting people in place who are responsible for different teams or processes in your organization the what happens is that you definitely start working in the business more and more so with time you have to raise your level of authority delegation because as an entrepreneur a stage will come when you will make uh, create a very successful business around your core competences or you see an, uh, a market opportunity and you just simply go for it but the problem comes when the business grows and you don't have enough time or enough working hours in a day to take your business to the next level so if you want to take your business from 500,000 pounds in revenue or dollars in revenue to a million dollars then one to two million dollars do you really think that you can achieve that growth by by doubling your work time there are 24 hours in a day guys right so it is simply not possible a stage will come in your career when you will like to own several businesses in an industry so then would you actually get 5000 hours in a day to actually manage all of them or or is there a better way so yes there is a better way and the better way is to appoint the right people uh, in those businesses who will manage them as ceos and then you can just simply pay them for their time and pay them bonuses for their performance so that they remain motivated and you just simply manage the business from the top right you just simply have a meeting with them once a, a month or let's say a quarter and you look at you go through the numbers with them and then uh, this is how the gap analysis or the accountability takes place now let's switch our attention to building an asset so if you are in a consultation business and if you are working from client to client serving them for 12 hours a day and then uh if if you are not available to serve your clients then you simply don't have a replacement so that is not a business this is something which i call self-employed right so you are still trading your time for the money you 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 have a client you serve the client you get paid for your time and then you just simply repeat the process but your presence has to be there so 
it is like uh, still you are not unlocking the true value which you have right so if you are too busy or if you are just working a lot it 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 might be due to the fact that you have not actually uh, created an asset with time you might be having a consultation company where you go you serve clients you provide some trainings or you or else you uh, uh, have a certain niche where you provide any consultation right uh, where your physical presence your time must be spent must be spent so you should you are still trading your time for money you have not appointed a person or you are unable to appoint a person because the things are so much tied up or glued to your personal brand your personal competences your personal profile and your skills right and they can be very unique skills which give you a lot of fulfillment that okay fine uh, and it also satisfies your ego that you, you are that macho man who who is pretty much in demand and uh, and you can uh, do certain things which very few people will do good for your ego good for your fulfillment but it is not gonna uh, put a lot of cash in your business account because you are still trading time for money and you have to understand that you still have 24 hours in a day right so if you are in 60s getting old and you are really proud of uh, of your of the hard work that you have done or let's say you have been a consultant and uh, or let's say a trainer and you are well respected uh, you have created a lot of value for other companies and you are well respected good for you good for your ego good for your fulfillment uh, be happy with your fulfillment and be happy with your ego uh, and celebrate that there is nothing wrong with that I have been there and uh, yeah it fe the feeling is awesome but the feeling comes with a lot of uh, side effects with which you have to live with uh, you won't be able to scale your business time constraint 24 hours in a day and you won't be able to uh, to create massive impact you won't be able to uh, to impact the lives of millions of people by uh, developing a business uh, around a solid uh, business idea where a market is served in a way that uh, that is difficult to imitate i really appreciate that you watched this video keep on watching and i will keep on coming up with really valuable content like that even in the future thank you very much bye bye and take care